What's going on Cab Training family? I am Jacob Cabazuto and I'm back with video three from our five pillars of being a great running back video series. And in this video, I'm going to talk about footwork and lateral quickness. It's going to be smashed into one trait. Both of those kind of mean the same thing to me when it comes to being a running back and they hold the same amount of importance. If you guys missed the last two videos, the link to those two videos are right up here. They're gonna show up in like a white little box up here. Watch those two because those are very important as well. All five of these traits are gonna be super important to ensure your success at the running back position. When it comes down to lateral quickness and footwork, there's a lot that goes into it. So make sure you guys subscribe and like so you guys don't miss any more content from Cab Training and the next two videos in this series. Let's get better today. So when it comes to lateral quickness and footwork, it's all about being able to move effectively and efficiently in tight spaces. As running backs, we have the most confined office space as compared to the other positions on the field. We have to work within small gaps between big old dudes and we got to make sure that we can work and squeeze through there, get skinny and be able to maneuver and gain yards for our team. What we're going to work on today is just being able to be laterally quick. We're going to work on some jump cuts. We're gonna work on just being able to put our feet wherever we wanna put them. And that involves a lot of agility ladder work. So if you guys have an agility ladder at home or use the tiles on your floor in your kitchen, watch this agility ladder video that I'm gonna put right here at the top of the screen so you guys can really narrow in on your footwork. But today we're gonna to work on some running back specific footwork stuff so we can maneuver around in a tight space. So for drill number one on this video, you guys can use either the skills agility hurdles that I'm using here, a, an old pillow, an old cardboard box, anything that can serve as a landmark to shuffle to the side off of. What we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna set up three of these types of landmarks in a row and we're gonna be sprinting with a full head of steam at them and we're gonna shuffle really quickly. This one's just working on our jump cut. We gotta be quick, we gotta be efficient, and what I'm looking for here is to be able to not waste any steps between running vertically and shuffling horizontally. And that way, when you guys are in that tight spot approaching the line and you guys got to shuffle into a new gap, you guys got to be efficient. You guys can't waste any time because defensive linemen are becoming increasingly quick nowadays and they will catch you. So the other drill that I'm going to go over today may require an assistant, a coach, or a friend to help you out here just to react to their voice. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up those three landmarks again in a line, just a little bit tighter now, and we're gonna put cones on each side of those landmarks. That will create two gaps that we can work through here. And so basically what your partner or assistant is gonna do with you here is they're gonna point you into which gap that you're gonna go into. So they might point you to go straight through the first two and then shuffle over and go to that to the other side of that landmark. And this is just basically working on reaction because a lot of agility, a lot of footwork, and a lot of quickness relies on that quick reaction and the reflexes of our muscles. So do this drill a couple times, do, do that other drill a couple times, and that'll really work on that lateral quickness, being able to shift from gap to gap in a very quick and efficient manner. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed trait three of our five traits that make up a great running back video series. Stay tuned for the next two videos. They will be coming out in the next couple days so you guys can learn the last two traits that make up a great running back. According to me, there is so much information out there for you guys. Keep looking stuff up, keep grinding, and keep watching cab training. In order to do so, you guys gotta make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys don't miss any more content. Binge watch some of my other videos because there's so much speed and agility content that you guys can be looking at here. And make sure you guys like this so other running backs who are on their grind can also improve as well. And as I always like to say, let's get better today.